Ursus Americanus, the magnificent American black bear. Brought to you by Montana Recreations. Beautiful. You must have been. That fur. You never even felt the cold, did you? If he hadn't preserved you, would anyone even know you'd disappeared? I hate to interrupt. Oh, I... Yes. <laughs> Hello, I... Oh, an outlander at the Shrine of Forgotten Beasts. Welcome. I'm Enjuk. Uh, Aloy. The Shrine of... what? When the old world still breathed, a great man built a tiny totem to this beast and stored the visage inside. When the totem is placed on the pedestal, the animal is... Painted onto the empty air. And the beast lives again. Well, almost. There are seven pedestals. Where are the other six figurines? I found this one in the wilds. Remembered the indentations in the pedestals here and saw how they matched the base of the totem. But as you say, it's one of seven, isn't it? Oh, the great Montana recreations must have made more, but time has scattered them. You said a great man made these figurines? Indeed. He was, I believe, a student of the natural world. Like me. But surpassing my abilities a thousand times over. The great Montana recreations. Perhaps the finest natural scholar the old world ever produced. His voice claims responsibility for the totems, the vessels for the knowledge he accumulated. I share his desire to understand the beasts, to catalog their behaviors and preserve their images. I like to flatter myself that I'm an apprentice of sorts, carrying on his work. Someday, perhaps, if I am persistent, I can earn his name, Enjuk Recreations. So these totems, the images they show are of animals that no longer exist. They're gone. Like the old ones. Uh, so it seems. <laughs> to think such magnificent creatures are lost to us that we never even knew they were here. We rely as much on beasts as we do on machines. For food, for warmth. But do we study them with the same fervor? Yeah, I do. For example, I have this theory about foxes. Why do foxes have red fur? <laughs> think about what they eat. Meat? Raw meat. Bloody meat. See? Natural causation. Logical connections. It only makes sense. You've thought a lot more about foxes than I have. I have six figurines like this one. Maybe these are what you're looking for? By the blue light, I didn't know if I'd ever see the whole collection reunited. <laughs> and look at them. They're... beautiful. You've done a great thing, Aloy. These may represent the last record that any of these beasts ever lived. Take this. It's the least I can do. And come back any time. I and our animal friends await your return. That's all for now. Until next time, then.
Ursus Americanus, the magnificent American black bear. Brought to you by Montana Recreations. How would you like to find yourself cornered by that thing? I suspect I'd like it very much indeed. What a beautiful beast you were. Puma Concalor, the fearsome cougar. Brought to you by Montana Recreations. His coat is sand colored. Could it have been a burrowing animal? Perhaps those teeth were only used for digging. Bison, bison, bison. That's the actual Latin name of the regal American bison. Brought to you by Montana Recreations. Latin? Perhaps that's some sort of old-world custom in which one repeats the name of a particularly revered animal. I could forget what warmth feels like out here. Ursus Arctos. The menacing grizzly bear. Brought to you by Montana Recreations. Those claws look like they could rip someone in half. Perhaps in its youth, but you heard Montana Recreations. He said it's grizzled. Old. Its hunting days are behind it. Odocolius virginianus. The majestic mule deer. Brought to you by Montana Recreations. Not built like a predator, but perhaps it needed those horns to take down its prey in the absence of sharp fangs. Canis lupus, the enigmatic gray wolf. Brought to you by Montana Recreations. Could it be that these wolves and our foxes are the same somehow? Perhaps after hundreds of winters. No. No, that's ridiculous. Alsus, Alsus. The noble moose. Brought to you by Montana Recreations. The horns grow like trees. Of course, this moose used those bizarre growths to blend in with its forest home. Huh. Back again, Enjuk. You've picked up my interest in the beasts of the old world, I see. That's all for now. Until next time, then. Visitors, centers of bust. I'm recording the strategic and operational value at roughly O point squat. No reason we shouldn't pack the staff onto a vert and send them back to Nowheresville as soon as the gates are locked. Enjoy basic income, ding-dongs.